I think it's kind of a low blow. Hey Nathan Nice, welcome back to uh, another video. Today I wanted to talk about Sylvester Stallone. Apparently he has some stuff that he's going through. Uh, but it's, this is something that's already been covered by another YouTube channel that I like to follow, which is Viking Samurai. And if you'd like to check out his channel and what's going on, uh, he could give a better description of what's going on with uh, Sylvester Stallone and some producers that he used to work for uh, while he was doing the, uh, the Rocky Saga and the Creed Saga. But in this case, uh, what I wanted to talk about was the idea of having a a Drago spinoff, or in this case, a Rocky spinoff, uh, based on Ivan and Victor Drago. First of all, uh, me personally, I happen to like the idea. Second of all, uh, I should say that um, they're actually going to try to make it into a series. Like a television series or uh, some uh, series of sorts that they can stream. I do like that idea. Only because, you know, we got some uh, great talent, you know, that is Dolph Lundgren and uh, Florian uh, Mutino. i sorry if I butchered your name. But I don't think they should do it on, on the expense of. Sylvester Stallone, and I say that because this is the this is Sylvester Stallone, baby. This is his creation. He created this. This is how he got into Hollywood. He wrote a script. He sold the script, and uh, negotiated a negotiated to a point where he wanted to star in the movie, and obviously the rest is history. Uh, we, we had some great Rocky movies, we got some great uh, Creed movies. It's what launched, you know, Sylvester Stallone's career. And this dispute that he's having with uh, Erwin Winkler and uh, other producers, uh, I think it's kind of a low blow again. Uh, this is uh, Sylvester's creation, you know, and he has every right to be a part of it. Even though he's having trouble owning the rights to it. Uh, you would think he would own the rights to it. Even though he created it. Apparently that's not the case. Uh, but again, go check out uh, Viking Samurai's uh, videos uh, on that subject. He does a very, very good uh, detailed description of it. And, and it's a good YouTube channel. I love, I love to follow his stuff. He does some great content. Well, what I like to end on is that I like the idea of... Uh, a Drago saga and it's only because of again we got some great acting from Dolph get some great acting from Florian. Florian did a really good job of playing this character Victor Drago. Uh, I did a review on it a long time ago and if you'd like to see that I'll leave a link somewhere and he just uh, he did a terrific job in his first time out acting I believe he's an MMA fighter. He's not technically a boxer, even though boxing is in his resume. But I think he is an MMA fighter. He's a very intimidating MMA fighter. And I'm sure he's a nice, genuine guy. Uh, but I would like to leave a note on the fact that he's just uh, a terrific, terrific actor. He did a terrific job uh, playing Victor Drago. So... Yeah, that's all I got to say about this video on, on this topic. Uh, leave a like, comments down below, and tell me what you guys think, and subscribe to the channel. And that's all I got for you guys. Until next time. Nope. May the force be with you. No. <laughs> live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Be asking to each other, party on dudes. And I'll see you guys on the bounce in the next video. Yeah.